Hello everyone, my name is Coaster Child, Donkster Born, but built for Theme Park News, and welcome to a Theme Park Newsroom update where today we're going to be looking at the Alton Towers Resort. Now, this is because something has come out with the Alton Towers Dungeon that is set to reopen on Saturday, the 18th of July 2020. Uh, and this news came kind of came out of nowhere. Well, it, we kind of expected it at some point, but it kind of came out of the blue without any warning from the park or anything like that that they were going to break this news. Uh, I was just sat watching Dickinson's Real Deal right there and there. You can't see it now, but you know, it's right. You know, there. And um, basically, yeah, the news came out, and now we get to officially report on them. So today, we're going to tell you officially what's been said, uh, according to the attractions website page on the Alton Towers Resort website, which I will also link in the description down below. But before we get started with any of that, let me tell you how you guys can interact with the channel. If you've loved this video, make sure you hit the like button below. Make sure you also comment down below your thoughts and opinions on the video topic. And also make sure you subscribe to Coach Child YouTube channel for more. And click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share the channel with your friends, your family and our social media. And make sure you also comment down below your video suggestions which will be saved. Your shout outs which will be saved for the next day's videos. And also make sure you send in your merchandise continuously on Instagram and Snapchat. The links for both are in the description down below and I'll save your merchandise pictures with your name and location for the next merchandise showcase video. Also make sure you get your questions in the comments down below. Use the hashtag question before or after your question and they will be saved for our 2000 subscriber Q&A. Also guys make sure you reach that subscriber goal of 10,000 subs in the next 365 days and counting. If we do that, I will release Coaster Child merchandise on a new website as well as other projects I've got planned for the long term future. Let's get into another thrilling video. So the statement from the website of the attraction says as follows. At the Alton Towers dungeon we are horribly excited to whisk traitors back to sea hear and um, smell Staffordshire's perilous past from Saturday the 18th of July and we're confident we could do so in the safest way possible. We have fully reviewed the experience making changes to the way our dungeon dwelling storytellers interact with visitors. We've put in place a wide range of new safety measures that adhere to our local health authority and government guidelines, ensuring every peasant, okay guest, could truly have a great experience all while observing social distancing guidelines. These include pre-booking your tickets, there is a reduced daily ticket capacity at Alton Towers Dungeon to allow for anti-social distancing throughout. Tickets should be purchased through our website or the Alton Towers Resort app for contactless entry. Premium season pass holders will be able to book on the day. Social distancing with new techniques and guest interactions to delight and repulse in equal measure, all from a respectable two meter distance. You really don't want to get any closer to Molly Lee. Face masks. All visitors must bring a wear and suitable face mask throughout their time in the dungeon, or else we'll send you to the torturer. Dungeon storytellers will wear new historically themed dungeon face coverings. Sadly, even this won't disguise the plague doctor's stench. Signage. New routes and signage throughout the visitors to follow as they wander down winding, rat infested alleyways. You wouldn't want to get lost in the bowls of the dungeon now would you? Enhanced cleaning, hygiene stations and hand sanitizer at key locations for guru traders will be used throughout the attraction as well. So that, my friends, is the latest information from the actual website page for the Alton Towers Dungeon. Uh, so for those of you who don't know anything about this attraction, basically this is traditional to your Dungeons attractions, which are still part of the Merlin Entertainment's theme park chain. Uh, the Dungeons attractions are usually midway attractions uh, that are located around the country, around Europe, around the world. They're at the, the worldwide, these Dungeons attractions, so they are all worldwide attractions. And it's basically looking a, a gruesome look into the history of the town that it's set in. So you've got the York Dungeon, Blackpool, London, Edinburgh, and you've even got San Francisco and Berlin um, as well. So there's plenty more Dungeons attractions for the future, and I'm sure there's going to be Dungeons attractions to come. 
But the Alton Towers dungeon came into the park in 2019, so it's a much recent attraction. It replaced the long gone dark ride Charlie and the Chocolate Factory the ride, which last operated in 2015 before being blocked, well 2014 technically, before being blocked off during the 2015 season as part of the Towers Loving Care program. Now, of course, this replaced the original Toyland Tours, which at last operated in 2005 before Charlie came in in 2006. Um, it was a slow moving boat ride. That element of the ride has stayed in with the re theme to the dungeon, along with the brand new added actor scenes. Now, of course, this attraction was skeptical at first, but people have really taken to the dungeon's attraction. Many other people still believe uh, that Charlie and Toyland are better. Uh, however, I, even though I do agree with it to some extent, I do think the dungeon is a respectful addition to the park to replace it. So, obviously with these brand new restrictions in place, it's very nice to see that the dungeon is set to reopen in a couple of days time on Saturday the 18th of July. Now, of course, we talked about on this channel recently, uh, about a week ago now, where Daniel Fotheringham, big shout out to you, I uh, sent in the video idea about discussing what the future of the Dungeons attractions is and I spoke about how the Berlin Dungeon was opening uh, up again, they've opened by now and of course uh, since that video they've opened so we spoke about the Berlin Dungeon about how they were reopening and what the restrictions they were putting in place with the restriction guidelines that were ongoing on in Germany um, and it seems like they use, they're using that same formula. They're using the government restrictions and they're applying them to the dungeon's experience. So it is going to feel a little weird. Obviously, like many, like the roller coasters at Alton Towers, you have to wear a face mask throughout the attraction, uh, along with the hand sanitizing stations all throughout the attraction, following the signage. Um, stick into social distancing as best as possible. And I'm sure they'll think of so many ways to do that. Um, so it's going to be a very interesting dungeon experience to experience in the future, really, uh, with these restrictions in place. But it is in the interest of safety, it's in the interest of uh, your own personal safety as well as the actor's safety and the staff's safety. So it's there for a reason. And to be fair, the, 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 the way in which they've implemented that, and I spoke about the... Um, on the statement about these words like all these different sentences to keep it themed to the dungeons like the anti-social distancing and anti-being in brackets and there's other little sentences like you don't want to get lost in the bowls of the dungeon don't you um, you know and you don't want to get close to the play doctor stench you don't want to smell it and all this nonsense it's beautiful that Alton Towers are just keeping that family friendly fun even when explaining serious guidelines that have been put in place to stop the spread of COVID-19 uh, throughout the theme parks. So, you know, they're still finding ways to make it fun while reporting on government guidelines and the restrictions that they're putting in place to this attraction. So, um, obviously, with the dungeon in Alton Towers reopening, that, of course, leads the question to other dungeons reopening in the UK. Will it be the 18th of July? I don't think so. I think the best we could look for here for the other dungeons is the 25th of July because I said in the previous week uh, on the video on the Berlin dungeon uh, reopening and I spoke about the future of the dungeons attractions. Again, massive shout out to Daniel Fotheringham for suggesting that video idea. Um, but I said in that I'd give it a week or so and I'd allow the uh, UK dungeons attractions to reopen with their guidelines. Uh, and the Alton Towers dungeon has stuck to my theory. They've done that a week, about a week after I released the video talking about Berlin Dungeon opening the day after I took that video. Um, Alton Towers dungeon are now opening on the 18th. I would give it one more week and I would see the 25th of July be the reopening date for the rest of the UK dungeons. York, Blackpool, Edinburgh, London. Depending on Scottish restrictions, of course, with Edinburgh. But things like Blackpool, London and York... Definitely I could see them reopening somewhere between the 18th and the 25th of July. So around those that, that full week of Saturday. Um, so it's going to be very, very interesting. Obviously a lot of indoor attractions are going to be the focus for reopening now. Uh, with the coasters and the flat rides and you know some of the other attractions. The family attractions being reopened now. Uh, obviously the water rides at Thorpe Park like 
tidal wave, storm surge, they've been closed. Uh, I don't think there was a COVID safety uh, banner on the closure sign for storm surge from what I saw from a few vlogs uh, from reopening day. So that might be a completely different scenario, or it might be, who knows. Um, Walking Dead, the ride's obviously an indoor attraction, so that's through the COVID safety. Tidal wave, again, COVID safety. Uh, but it should be very interesting to see what they do with the water rides and, of course, the indoor rides, which means the reopening of things like Jewel, Hex... Uh, Darren Brown's Ghost Train, uh, Tomb Raider if that's not open yet, uh, loads of these indoor dark rides around the UK theme parks owned by Merlin and of course I'm sure other parks that haven't opened their indoor attractions yet will do the same. Um, it's going to become a domino effect now and it's going to help open the indoor attractions and of course in terms of indoor attractions that will lead us up to 2021 when hopefully all indoor attractions will have opened in 2020 at some point. Uh, and it will get us ready for the two brand new indoor attractions for next year. Uh, Black Mirror Labyrinth at Thorpe Park and of course Gangster Granny the Ride in the brand new World of David Williams at Alton Towers itself. So there we go guys. Thank you very, very much for watching this theme park newsroom update from the Alton Towers Resort and the Alton Towers Dungeon. Please like, comment, subscribe for more content. And for now guys, my name is Coast Shell. Keep on the coast life and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care guys. Have an awesome day.